and welcome to our notes on combining like terms. Today we're going to practice uh, combining like terms during using algebraic expressions. We're going to talk about what like terms are and then we're going to take a look at what we can do with them. So first things first, uh, we have to know what like terms are. Terms, like terms, are terms that have the same variable, so same letter, and exponent. So at first you're not going to have a lot to do with the exponents, but you do have to recognize that when we are doing like terms, x and x squared are not like terms because this is just a normal x, this is an x squared. In order for them to be like terms, they have to be the same letter and the same exponent. So x squared and x squared are like terms because they both have the exponent of 2. The easiest way to work on combining like terms is to first rewrite the expression, so whatever uh, algebra expression you have, so that the like terms are next to each other. And then you also want to make sure you keep the symbol in front of the term the same. So if it has a plus sign in front of it, that plus sign is going to stay with it. If it has a minus sign in front of it, that minus sign is going to stay with it. Once you have your like terms set up, you get to add them normally using the coefficient, the number that's in front of your variable. Or if it's a constant, a plain number, that one you have already been adding and subtracting regular numbers forever. So our first example here is we have 3x plus 6 minus 4x minus 1. So the first thing we want to do is we want to move our terms around so that the like terms are together. So the 3x and the other one that has an x with it is that minus 4x. So here's where you have the symbol or the sign that's in front of your term has to stay with it. So when we move this so that the 3x and the minus 4x are together, we're going to be writing it as 3x, and then that minus sign is going to come along with it to be a full minus 4x. Then we also have plus 6 and minus 1. So that plus 6 is going to remain a plus 6, and that minus 1 is going to remain a minus 1. Now that our like terms are together, we can combine them by doing whatever operation we have here. 3x minus 4x, we're going to do 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so we have negative 1x. And 6x minus, or not x, 6 minus 1 is a positive 5. This minus 1x, whenever we have a variable with a coefficient of 1, it doesn't need to be there. It can be, but it doesn't have to be. So we could also write this as negative x plus 5. Both of these are correct answers. Sometimes our terms could already be together. So here you'll see all of our like terms are together already, so we don't have to move anything around, but we can start combining. So over here we have negative 7x plus 5x, negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2, so we have negative 2x, and we have 8 minus 13. 8 minus 13 is negative 5. There's nothing to change about this, so this is our answer here. All right, so for example C, let's get you guys to try and work on this. So let's start by taking a look at what are our, t our like terms here. So what are the sets of like terms that we have in this question? All right. So we have 3x and 7x are a pair of like terms, and the 6 and the 3 are a pair of like terms. So now that we have that, why don't you guys rewrite this with the like terms together? So what would this be rewritten as so that we could combine? Right, so you would write the 3x 
plus 7x, we move those around, and then plus 6 and plus 3. All right, now that we have that, why don't you guys finish it off by simplifying and let me know what you get with things combined. All right, three plus seven is 10, so we have 10x. And then six plus three is nine, so it's 10x plus nine. All right, example D, once again, why don't you guys go ahead and give this whole thing a try? What do you get as your simplified version of this question? All right, so the 6x and the minus 7x will go together. So we have 6x minus 7x, and then that 4 and 15 are already together, but we're going to move them over here. All right, 6 minus 7 is negative 1, so we have the negative 1x. 4 plus 15 is 19. So if you wrote negative 1x plus 19 as your answer, that is perfectly fine. Uh, but if you remember from the first example, this is also just negative x plus 19. This, if you're given multiple choice questions, is more likely what you will see as your option. So knowing that that is the same as negative 1x will be really important. Right, that's it for our combining like terms lesson. If you have any questions, put them in at the end of the video.